Well, what's wrong with this picture? Uh, if you look closely on the right hand side at the back wheel of this bicycle, you'll see that it's been erased a lot more strongly than the front wheel. And you'll also notice that the solid white line to the right of the bicycle has also largely disappeared. Why is that? Well, this is on a bend out in Concord. It's actually near uh, Concord Hospital. And what's happening here is that drivers are cutting this corner and driving well and truly into the bike lane and it's their tires that have erased these pavement markings. It's not the weather, it's not the rain, it's not the wind, it's not the sun. It's just wear and tear from thousands and thousands of tires going across that line and across the pavement marking and erasing it because there's a bunch of these pavement markings along here. And if you look at the ones that are on the straights, you can see that they're as, well, they're not as fresh and vibrant as the day they were laid down, but they are of a consistent quality the whole way across. And that means they haven't been, uh, what you might say, differentially eroded by, uh, by car tires. And you can see, you know, that driver going along there, they've stayed well outside the line, but when they get to this corner, they naturally drift in. Now, the faster uh, they're going around this corner, the more they're going to tend to cut the corner, um, you know, because they're, they're going to want to take a, a tighter line as they go around this bend. And that's a problem all the way along here on all the bends. Essentially, all the uh, line markings have been erased. And of course, that's a, a problem for cyclists because it just demonstrates that these line markings provide absolutely no benefit to us at all. There's no safety benefit here at all. There, there is no physical barrier between us and cars coming up behind us. And there's also a fairly significant speed difference. When we uh, are on the hills, the difference in speed can be up to about three times. Thinking that the speed limit on this road is 50 kilometers an hour, but there's often um, mobile speed camera patrols along here because speeding is so rife, especially uh, going up this hill, that they need to put a, a mobile camera on it on a regular basis to slow drivers down. So whilst we're chugging up that hill at 15 or 20 kilometers an hour, you've got drivers doing 60 plus. Now, love them or hate them, Boris Johnson, when he was the Lord Mayor of London, was out on a bicycle a lot. And what I'm trying to get at here is, when you're in a car, you don't notice this kind of thing because what you're focusing on is other cars because you're trying not to crash in, into them. I mean, that's it. We, you know, we, we all drive, we know what it's like, but if you think about where you're focusing, you're focusing more on uh, the other vehicles. You're, you're focusing on obstacles you need to avoid. You're not looking at things like pavement markings and stuff like that. So if you've got councillors and council staff who spend all their time driving around the place rather than walking or cycling, they're going too fast and they're focused on um, other things and they don't see these kind of basic infrastructure issues. They don't see uh, you know, signs that are missing or rubbish bins that have been set on fire or park benches that have fallen to bits and, and are now a hazard. They don't see necessarily the potholes and the bad footpaths and uh, the, you know, the drains that are full. And, and even if they do see these things, well, they're driving. How are they supposed to take notes uh, you know, when they get back to the office, oh, you know, let's get the pothole team onto that pothole or uh, let's get the uh, the bin guys out there into this park to replace these bins which have been vandalized overnight or, um, you know, let's get these park benches replaced uh, in the, in this park because they've all just fallen apart over the years because no one's come out and done any maintenance on them. You don't see that when you're driving past. And, uh, you know, about the only thing you might see is if a tree's fallen down in front of you and you can't get around it, oh, then you'll ring council and say, hey, can you send some people out with chainsaws to chop this thing up and take it away? Otherwise, you just blissfully go on your journey. And, uh, you know, on a bike, it's a marvellous way to pick up all these kind of infrastructure issues. In fact, um, I remember my father telling me many years ago that uh, when we lived in Bunbury when I was a kid, he noticed that the quality of the roads declined precipitously after the council bought the um, the roads foreman a, a ute rather than a, a letting him get around on a bike and look we're going back a long way here but what used to happen is the uh, the roads foreman used to ride around on a bicycle with a shovel strapped to his bike and if he came across a pothole well he just parked the bike pull the shovel off the back and fill in the pothole they had no potholes as a result but as soon as he got in a ute well you know you either didn't see the potholes or he couldn't find somewhere to park the ute, or he just couldn't be bothered stopping and filling it in because it's a lot more of faffing around to stop a ute, 
park it, switch it off, get your tools out of the back, mark, walk back to where the pothole is, fill in the pothole, then go and put your tools back in the end and drive off. Whereas from a bike, easy to spot, easy to fix. Now, that's not to say we should put our uh, maintenance staff back onto bicycles. It's more uh, about how much more observant you are on a bicycle because you're going slower. You don't have A pillars, you don't have B pillars, you don't have a roof, you don't have instruments to look at. You can you can hear things. You just see so much more because your your um, your vision is not obstructed, and you're going more slowly. You've got more time to process things, and uh, yeah, you'd, you have to worry about not running into cars and stuff. But we spend an awful lot of time looking at the road because if you hit so- something on a bike on a, uh, it's going to have much worse consequences for you than if you're driving in a car. I mean, if you're in a four wheel drive. You just roll over a pothole or a stick or you know some broken glass and you don't even pay attention to it. Whereas if, if you're on a bike, you pay attention to every single small deformation in the road. You're looking out for potholes because you don't want to get a pinch flat or you don't want to get thrown off your bike. You're looking for broken glass. You know We are constantly um, manically observing uh, the road surface. And you can see that car that went past there, they cut that corner uh, and went over the line because the lines along here are raised. But, you know, going back to uh, observability, you know, we pay very, very close attention to the roads. And, uh, you know, I guess if we did put council staff or councillors on a bike every now and then and, and sent them around the neighbourhoods, they'd come back shocked at, uh, at the quality of um, our roads and our infrastructure and might do something about it. And hopefully that would come down to replacing this ridiculous magic paint, which does nothing, with some properly separated safe bicycle infrastructure.